Well, the Game Awards have come and gone. Elden Ring won Game of the Year, and God of War Ragnarok picked up its fair share of awards, but once you sift through all that, and the occasional Al Pacino and Bill Clinton references, you might notice Xbox had no big presence at this event. But find out why, up next. <laughs> What up guys, this is Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Also, drop a like on the video. Okay, so before we get into this rather divisive video, I want to first say this is for the sake of conversation, so let's spark one. So, to start off, I want to make the general statement that Xbox needs to have a big year in 2023 games-wise, rather than just acquiring studios or getting already released games on Game Pass. Simply put, Xbox needs first-party games in 2023 and big ones. A rather great piece I'd recommend you check out is Ryan McCaffrey's piece on IGN, which I'll have linked below, which does echo a lot of the same sentiments mentioned throughout this video. So to start off, we have yet to get a firm release date on the games like Starfield, Redfall, and Forza Motorsport. And those are just three games so far for the whole year of 2023. And in the case for Starfield, you do have to enter that game with a little bit of caution because Bethesda games are notorious for being glitchy and buggy. Not to mention, the game already had leaked performance issues a while back, so all we can hope for is for this game to just stick its landing, because honestly, I'm excited for this game. Now, some people did blame the recent tussle that Microsoft had with the FTC over their blockage of the Activision Blizzard deal for their lack of announcements at the Game Awards, but I don't buy that. It's also worth noting that in the past 10 years, Xbox alone has yet to have a first-party titled be nominated for Game of the Year. Xbox now owns 23 first-party studios, and out of those 23 studios, take a guess how many of those studios released a AAA game in 2022. Zero. And when looking at Sony last year, they released three big games, being Horizon Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok, and Gran Turismo 3, which did in fact pick up awards at the Game Awards. Looking back on 2021, it seemed as if Xbox finally hit their stride. We got Halo Infinite campaign, we also got its multiplayer, Forza Horizon 5, which was stellar, and the teaser for the Fable game. And then it was just radio silence on Microsoft's end. So the bigger question here is, what exactly is awaiting Microsoft in the video game battlefield of 2023? Releases like Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Hogwarts Legacy, the Suicide Squad game, and Spider-Man 2 is apparently due for 2023. So it's pretty obvious that Xbox needs to clap back. Xbox's Aaron Greenberg sent out a tweet to Xbox fans around the world that sought to bring some sort of stability to the ruckus fan base, reading, We have a lot planned to show and share about the incredible, exciting year ahead for 2023. Appreciate folks eager to learn and see more. Timing is always key. But don't worry, you will not have to wait long for what's next from us. Now, before we close out this video, I want to go on record to say that I'm a massive Xbox fan. And when looking back on eras like the 360, where Gears and Halo were both the top dogs in the gaming space, then moving to the Xbox One era, we don't talk about that. Then here to the present, it's hard to say what exactly is going on here on the Xbox side of things. But as per usual, I'm going to pass this question off to you guys, the viewers. What would you personally do to correct the course for Microsoft and Xbox? Also, do you think that there are any dormant game titles that they should pull out of their hat to kind of jump ahead of everybody? But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown in all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And I'll see you guys next time.